morning everyone. I am your future educator Irene from Cebu Technological University, San Fernando Extension Campus. Are you guys ready for our exciting science lesson? So am I. But before we begin, I just want everyone to say science is fun. Science is exciting. Good job. Science is a systematic body of knowledge, body of knowledge about the natural world. Science is a curiosity in action and looking for answers so that we can make better questions. Science is an invitation to ask how things work and can be a method. Acquiring knowledge through science is the most systematic and logical way. And in order for us to acquire knowledge, we need some basic science process skills, which include observing, classifying, communicating, measuring, predicting, and inferring. Let's begin with observing. Observing is a science process skills used in gathering information about objects and events, such as their characteristics, properties, similarities, and differences. Observing is a skill where we use our senses, our sense of sight, sense of hearing, sense of smell, sense of taste, and sense of touch. Observing can be classified into two, qualitative and quantitative observation. In quantitative observation, we utilize instruments or tools such as rulers, balances, or thermometers in order to provide observation that is measurable or quantifiable. While qualitative observation are observation made using our senses. They are descriptive. For example, the car is blue. So we describe the car using our sense of sight to provide our information or that was based on our observation. Next is classifying. It's a science process skill which involves grouping of set of information, object, or events, such as their similarities differences, and interrelationship. This skill is important because it assumes that if a set of objects share something in common, it may also share other attributes as well. For example, girls, boys, birds, mammals, fruits, vegetables. Another example is placing all rocks having certain grain size or hardness into one group. The next one is communicating. Communicating is sharing or expressing ideas and information. Communic through communicating, we can gather information or ideas, which may be done orally, in writing, with graphs, diagrams or tables of data, video recordings, and photographs as a way of communicating. For example, describing a height or a change in height of a plant over time in writing or 
through graphs. Then, the next one is measuring. Measuring is a comparing of size, distance, time, volume, area, mass, weight, or temperature of an object based on standards, such as rulers or graduated cylinder. Measuring is all about ascertaining the property of a material and expressing it in a defined unit. For example, using a meter stick in order to measure the length of the table in centimeters. Next is predicting. Predicting is the process of using past observation or data along with the other kinds of scientific knowledge in order to forecast observation about events or relationships. A statement not based on observation is not a prediction. It is not simply a guess, but it is a testable forming of an idea of an expected result, a belief of what will occur based on observation and data. So there are two types of predicting, the interpolation and extrapolation. Interpolation is predicting new data based on and within trend or pattern of previously observed data. While extrapolation is predicting new data outside or beyond the range of previously observed data. So, example of predicting. For example, predicting the height of a plant in two weeks based on the graph of its growth during the previous four weeks. The next and the last one is inferring. It is explaining, making interpretation, or drawing conclusion about specific event based on observation and data. Inferences are influenced by our own personal experiences and may change as we make more observation. Our inferences may be continually modified and at, at times it can be accepted or rejected. An example of inferring is saying that the person who used pencil made a lot of mistakes because the eraser was well worn. So those are the basic science process skill. We have observing, classifying, communicating, measuring, predicting, and inferring. Integrating this basic science process skills will make learning more meaningful and richer which helps students to understand how learning takes place. And this is a scientific approach which helps students or trains students the ability to seek knowledge and to solve problems in various situations. Thus, this basic scientific process skills emphasizes decision-making skills and problem-solving skills that are necessary and significant to elevate students' academic performance. That's all for today. Hope you learned something.